What's up, y'all? Uh, my name is Akita Gray. Hey, everybody, I'm AP. I am Ishmael Rouse, a.k.a. Ish. Hey, I'm Tynesha Jackson, a.k.a. Tiny. Don't fall for confusion, cause we know just who we are. Whatever he calls us to go, just know we gon' go hard, cause we go hard. I'm a PK, a pastor's kid, but I had like a, you know, a, another life. I was the way that I was supposed to be, but then when I was out with my friends or hanging out with, you know, my girlfriends or whatever. We just, you know, turned up, whether it was smoking or, or drinking or just, you know, getting into all types of stuff, you know? So it was kind of like I had two faces. You know, at a young age, I was the man in the house. So I grew up in the church most of my life. I got to around the age of 12, around that time, and had a little church hurt. It made me kind of turn away from God. I was in a lot of trouble, got initiated to a gang, you know, saw one of my best friends get killed right next to me. And um, that was one thing that changed my life. I was kind of pimping Christ a little bit. I felt like because I was going to churches and I was uh, singing for money, but I really wasn't into the services. I've uh, come through battling suicide. I just became very like depressed, very negative and suicidal. And um, in the midst of a, a suicide attempt, God would use who is my pastor now to give me a phone call in the midst of a suicide attempt to kind of break up what was going on at that moment. And the kick of that story is that I didn't know Pastor Powell, never talked to him before, never so much as shook his hand, but he would be the one that God would use um, to break up that suicide attempt. Pretty much I've been in uh, Christ all my life. In high school around when I was like maybe 17. I would put makeup on to look older than I appear, so I was always the friend that would be able to get the alcohol uh, without showing my ID. I had a really bad drinking habit, and I literally would uh, like fill my flask up and take it everywhere. I had it in my house, like I would just wake up just drinking. When the pastor preached, it was something about his message that really just got me, and it really just pulled at my heart, and um, it made me turn my life back over to Christ. And, um, since then, I've just been rocking out because of God. Because of the grace of God, I'm still here. God is a keeper and a restorer. God has continually shown me his power by restoring, and not just through uh, hearing someone else's testimony or leaning on what I've seen through other people's, but actually experiencing his own restoration power in my own life. There was this one night when I had an eye-opening uh, experience. I felt like God was telling me, like, is this what you want to do with your life? Is this what you want to be? Just know that God set it up where I couldn't party with my friends anymore. It was perfect because I, I then started getting like kind of closer to God. Yes, take over my life, God. I need your help. God, you know, his, his grace and, and his mercy is like so crazy because when we think about the things that we've done, the things that we've been through, we really shouldn't be here. I love Nikhail. I, I love my team, I love my squad, and we're family. We argue, we, 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 we talk about stuff, we, we uh, complain, we laugh, we joke, uh, we make fun of each other. It's, it's just, it's a family, and you can't get that anywhere. It really is my, my dream. My dream was always to come up with a company and to um, produce quality music, but also honor Christ. And so Nikhail was everything to me. I really do take it to heart. Every day I wake up and say, how can I be better? Not just for myself or for my family, but how can I be a better person for Nikhail? That's the, that's the God's honest truth. I've continually learned through this process of becoming a unit with this group. So if there's a takeaway or a great takeaway from being a part of Nikhail Music Group, it is that I am learning. I'm learning to be a better person. I'm becoming a better person. I'm growing in areas that I probably would have shied away from five years ago. I realized that I needed guidance from three older big brothers that are married, kids, and they've been through it. They motivate me without even saying a word. It's just a beautiful thing because my uh, real brother, he's overseas, he's in the Navy, so I never really get to see him. And so God placed these three guys in my life to help me grow. Make sure you keep a positive circle around you because when we don't have positive people in our lives, 
we can come up with this whole thing in our mind like, okay, well I got this, when you really don't have it. You fall many more times than than you would is as if you would have someone to help you. Someone that's gonna build you up, someone that's gonna give it to you real. Not just positive people, but people that's gonna give it to you 100%. Everybody has that moment in their life where you just are like, Lord, I believe, or you know, he shows you a sign, or he, he gives you grace, or, or just something just happens. So I, I just say, you know, whatever situation you're going through, just believe that it's going to work out. We sometimes can be in a situation where we can't see anything else but what we're going through. But God is over it all. He sees the light at the end of the tunnel. So don't lose that hope and just, just keep fighting, keep pushing forward. Look for him, challenge him, put his word to the test, um, remind him of his word. Wherever you may find yourself, you may find yourself depressed, you may find yourself suicidal, you may find yourself angry, you may have lost a loved one, you may have fell out of a relationship and got hurt. Whatever the case is, I'm telling you from my own experience that God is a restorer, but you gotta seek him first. I've been in those situations where I felt like God just was not there. I felt like I was on my own and I felt like if I couldn't do it myself, it wasn't gonna get done. But God showed me that I can't do everything on my own. And God showed favor and gave me grace in those times where I was acting a fool too. No matter what you're going through, God can get you through it. Just hold on one more day. It's not always rainbows and, 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 and nice sunny, sunny days, but the one thing that I hold on to every day is that God got me. And um, I just wanna let you know that God has got you. I